I am so excited to show you guys the bestie bow. I found this lady on YouTube. And I know when I did my uh, live the other night, everybody was telling me they're having a lot of trouble with bows. And she broke it down and made it so simple. Check this out. Welcome, Helen from Maryland. How are you? Does anybody struggle? Hi, Maria. Sorry, missed you. There we go. I think I got everybody so far. Is this not the cutest? Guys, she showed a way of making this so simple. I thought, I cannot wait to show you. I know some of us struggle with bows, and I thought, wow, this is, and doesn't that look really good on our wreath? This is a, a grapevine wreath base that I found, and I spray painted it black. If you all wouldn't mind spreading the love, I'd so appreciate it. This is my sign we're going to be using today. This is, is not in my shop yet. It will be after today. I made this specifically to go with these picks are from Michael's. And I didn't notice this till I made the sign. There are candy corn out there that the colors are different. Like these are yellow, orange, and, and white. Some of them are white on the bottom. Some of them are yellow on the bottom. Who knew? And if you were listening on, if you weren't here the other night, I was showing everybody the history of candy corn. And they actually marketed it back in the 1800s as something worth crowing about. And there are still some states that call it chicken feed. And it's still candy corn, but they call it chicken feed. And I found that so interesting. And this was the wreath we made the other night. Did someone say corn? And the chicken dude was so well received. Everybody wanted a chicken dude with a sign. So now we're selling the chicken dude with the sign. And that is in my Etsy shop. All right. Do any of you... Oh, Peggy. How are you? I've been thinking about you, praying for you. Peggy had knee surgery yesterday. Oh, what a doll. Well, you get better real quick, real soon. And I'm so glad the surgery went well. So fingers crossed for a speedy recovery. All right, we're going to be working with this wreath that I spray painted and this new sign. It says welcome. I even added a lot of dots like, I guess, balls. I added all the colors that were in these too. I get carried away sometimes with my signs. All right, we're going to put that over there and I am going to show you this bow. This woman, she's got a lot of followers and right now, oh good. I'm so glad. Well, I'm going to show you exactly what she calls it the bestie bow. And I have, she has, she speaks broken English. So sometimes it's really hard for me to concentrate on her language, but I finally got it. So this is what we're going to do. And depending on the size of your wreath, that is going to determine the size of your bow. Now, because this wreath base is only a 16 inch, I'm not going to be filling it with mesh or a lot of, a lot of filler. So with that, I wanted to stick with 24 inches. You can do 36 inches. So keep those two measurements in mind and I'm going to show you, but doesn't that look adorable? And this was so simple. And I thought, you know, everybody talked about it on Monday night on my live that the bows are the hardest thing for them. This is by far the easiest bow I have ever found. Now what you're gonna do, and I know I'm gonna need more. All right, I picked three colors. We've got the black with the candy corn on it. We've got the orange with the black dots and we've got the yellow. I went with all the same size. Now, if this was a bigger wreath, I probably would have went with a two and a half inch and I would have done 36 inches. Now, this is what I'm meaning by 36 inches, okay? 
you are going to take three colors and you are going to cut them the same now this one here <coughs> excuse me we're going to do the three colors and cut them at 24 inches each so for each color you need three at 24 inches so there's one oh please 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 get another out of this <laughs> I've had this this ribbon for a long time I know I'm not going to get any more out of that but we've got another one all right easy peasy you guys are going to be bow queens with this method I loved it so another one at 24 so we've got three of this color at 24 inches you're going to set it aside then you're going to go on to your next color and you're also going to cut it at 24 inches or 36 inches if you had a bigger wreath frame so there's one there's two come on and there's three I will, when I post this video to um, YouTube, I will go ahead and add the lady's name on there so you know you can find her YouTube channel. Brilliant. I have to say, for a beginner or someone that struggles with bows, this is by far a brilliant method. Easiest I've ever seen. So we got one. We got two, and if you wouldn't mind spreading love, please, I'd appreciate it. Etsy's, or YouTube is giving me a little bit of, oh, Facebook is giving me a hard time here. All right, so now what you're gonna do, she held them in her hands. I cannot hold all this in my hands, so I just use my Bodabra. If you have the Easy Bow, you can just stick your bows down in there. All right, so with this one, I did the yellow first. All right, what you're going to do is take one of each color and pile it on top of each other. So when she did the 36 inches, she used a loop that was five inches. Because I'm using 24 inches, I'm only going to use a loop that is four inches. So there's the first one. All right. Then I went with this next. Again, I'm going to fold it in half, not really mash it down, get my four inch, put my four inch in. This is all she did. If I can do this and she can do this, you can do this. Simple, simple, simple. We go back to the yellow. Find our center and we get our four inches. See what I'm doing? I'm just going in the order that I want it. And then we do this one next. Uh oh. Yep, no, I did it. <laughs> I thought I messed up the order already. All right. Then we go back to the yellow folding it as we go, finding our four inch. This is all you do. Now tell me this is not simple. So stinking easy. And the last one. So you cut 24 inch pieces, three for each color. Then you take your pipe cleaner, your tinsel tie, your floral wire, whatever you use, grab it all, pinch it really good in the middle, and now you're going to tie it off. You are not going to turn, you're not going to, you're just going to turn it like that. See how I'm doing it? Just twisting it. All right. Now, for the purpose of showing you how to fluff this, I'm actually going to separate and put half of these 
There we go. And then we're going to attach it to the wreath piece. what you're going to do first, have that tight enough, let me just tighten it a little more. I know, right? Is this not going to help you, Helen? I, I thought of all of you when I was doing this, because I know it was, a, it was the topic on Monday night of how everybody struggles this looks like a professional bow, and it is so stinking easy. I mean, I a child could do this. <laughs> we can do this. I sometimes struggle with getting the proportion right. How, you know, how I want it. So basically now what I'm doing is just turning the print side up. All right, I'm going to go back at the end and dovetail, but this is all you're going to do. This was all that she did. And it turns out so stinking cute. You can do this. I know you can. Helen, was it you on Monday night that was telling us how you struggled with the bows? I can't remember who it was. You kind of have to get yourself in the middle here and twist the bow down so it flattens and then pull down and then pull up. How easy is that? Now I've made bows before that I've, I've looped them all together and then pulled them apart at the end, but this to me was so stinking easy. Look at that. Let me see, you want it closer to the table then? Sure. It wasn't, okay, well I don't know who it was, but they were just struggling. And I was trying to go real easy when I was doing my bow so they could follow along. But when I saw this, I'm like, this is the answer. And then you're basically just, you know how to, pull your your ribbons down you're just kind of curling them and separating them out I so want you guys to try this method and I so want you to send me pictures of your bows because this is this is by far gonna help so many people and then I go back here and then I dovetail. But look, does that look, does that not look professional? And you saw how stinking easy it was to do. So now we're going to dovetail everything. I'm going to shorten them a little bit because I don't want them real long. But all you're doing is taking three colors and cutting them the same size and then alternating them. And like I said, she held the whole thing in her hand, had everything tucked in her hand, and I'm like, that's not going to happen. But this is so stinking easy. I know I keep repeating myself, but I was just so excited to have found her so I can show everybody how she did it and make it easier on everyone. Cindy, is that close enough for you? Can you see okay? Real sweet lady. I don't know where she is originally from. I almost suspected possibly Germany, but I could be wrong. And she's had a channel for a while. And she calls this her beastie bow. 
she makes a lot of Dollar Tree items and things like that. And this looks so cute on a lantern that she did. And basically, okay, for the lantern, all she did, I'll show you because this was so stinking easy too. She took two of two picks and used tape to tape them together. All right, just like that. One, two. Put the bow in the middle and attached it to the top of the lantern. How easy is that? Vicki, all we did, we took three ribbon. We cut them at 24 inches, three of each color, and then alternated them and stacked them. So easy. Look at that. You could even put that, look. Oh my gosh. We could just do our whole wreath just like that right? So stinking easy. I, I was just like, this is what all my followers have been looking for. Anybody that's into wreathing and struggling with booze. Hi Dawn. I was showing the beastie bow method. She did a at at uh, 36 inches, took three ribbons, cut three of each color, alternated them by stacking them, take, took it together like that, and just fluffed it out. How easy is that? I know. And doesn't that look so cute? I mean, I've done a lantern before. Actually, not a lantern, a top hat. But look at that. That would be so stinking easy to put on a lantern. And then you just curve this down a little if you want. Look at that. Helen's mind is blown. <laughs> Yay! That's all I wanted to do was succeed at blowing somebody's mind today. You made my day, Helen. So stinking easy. In fact, I'm like, oh my gosh, there are so many people in my area that have wreaths that just look disgusting. And I'm going to start just a bow. Let's replace your bow and, and make a new bow for everybody's wreath. But look at that. You could just do this alone. You wouldn't even need a sign. And you could sell that for next, you know, you could still sell it and make money. Even without a sign. Look at that. Is that not cute? I'm telling you, I am, I am going to challenge all of you. Okay. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to challenge all of you. Those who didn't see it from the beginning. Go ahead and watch the replay. All right. I want you to send me pictures of your bow. And then we're going to have a contest and I'm going to give away a sign. How easy is that? You can't tell me with this method that you cannot make a beautiful bow. I just showed you. So that's, that's your, uh, that's your homework. <laughs> Make a bow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Send it to me. And we're going to pick the prettiest bow. <clears throat> and by prettiest, I'm not meaning just, you know, it had everything. I want to see an amazing array of colors. You guys can do this. I showed you how. It's so stinking easy. Now that's all I'd have to do. You could turn it this way on a door. You could turn it this way. Heck. <laughs> there you go. Done. <laughs> we wouldn't even have to add anything else. And how many of those could you make up and do? 
Yay, Vicky's going to do it. All right, Vicky. Okay, when I fold it on a 24 inch, what she was saying on a 24 inch, you take your um, your ribbon and this, and this is how she gets it so uniform because she measures each one. So on a 24 inch, she measured her loops at four inches. Boom. Next color. You just need 24 inch length of three different colors. Yay, Cindy's going to do it too. Thank you, Cindy. Peggy, I will hold it till next Monday. We'll announce the winner on Monday. So that gives you enough time to get home feel a little bit better, have somebody bring you your ribbon. Now, like I said, for the bigger ones, she cut them at 36 inches. So <clears throat> think of the ribbon you're saving. If you're only cutting, you get a 10 yard roll. Look at how many, how many bows you could get out of a 10 yard roll. Because for the bigger bows, she did 36 inches. So that's only, what, three yards? No, yeah three yards. So one spool of ribbon should get you a couple of bows. I know, so awesome. Yay, Dawn. Dawn, I know you can do this. <laughs> I know you can. This is so exciting. I can't wait. I can't wait to see everybody's. This is going to be awesome. Yay. You guys can do it. I showed you how. So stinking simple. And then all you're going to do is turn your ribbon here so it lays flat and then curl. And separate so you don't have like all the yellows on top of each other. And see the more you pull up like that, the higher up your bow is going to get. And it is going to look so stinking professional. Right? Yay. I am so happy. Now I just hope whoever it was on my live Monday night will do the replay and, and, uh, and try it. So for a bigger bow, you would use 36 inches. This one, I cut each one at 24 inches. Okay, but this one we're going to add a sign to. And I thought what I'd do, I thought I would add the sign like over here. Because if you put it here, this wreath is not really long enough to handle the, the length of it. So I'm going to put it right in here. And I made this sign to go with <laughs> the Michael's picks because there are a lot of signs out there this is just me. I'm, I'm anal about these things. I like my colors to be pretty similar to the, to here, but that's as close as I could get it. A lot of them have the white on the end or the yellow on the bottom, but that was as close as I could do. So it is what it is. <laughs> All right. We're going to mount our little sign here. And this one isn't on the website yet. It will be, I promise. I will get it on there today. Oh, before I do that, I have got to show you. You know, I'll you know I started making um, personalized um, flags. Okay, I just had my first order for the personalized pet flags. Isn't that cute? These are two of my Yorkies. She bought those two for me. And then this is her son's dogs. See, and then it says home of, and then you, I put your name in there. And then she ordered this one too. But he's not cute. I just had such a good time. I made a ton of, of uh, flags over the weekend. Um, I have one for horses, one for babies, you name it, and they are selling, so, all right, let's get our wreath in here, our sign, in fact, I think I'm going to move it over just a little bit, like right here, 
I know. I'm I'm big on personalized gifts. I think they are awesome. I when I get something personalized, I think that person took the extra time to think of me. You know. So let's see, I'm gonna have to use my needle because it's not gonna work if I don't. So, nope, I knew that was going to happen. I was going to lose where I wanted to put it. So right about in here. I just need to get one end through. And hopefully I can get the other one. A little bit easier up here on the middle than it is on the end. Cut that later. right here. Oh, that went through pretty easy. I thank you all for joining and spreading the love. I can't wait to see your bows. This is going to be so much fun. Hey Sue, you missed it. We did the beastie, the bestie bow first, but we're having a contest. Watch the replay, baby. And I hope you don't have all your ribbon packed. <laughs> that you can participate in the contest using this bow method. We blew some minds today with it all right that's about where i want it all right so what i decided i may just leave this side empty and what i'm going to do I'm not even going to use all the picks, actually. I'm not going to need a lot for what I'm going to do. In fact, I may just save these to do this on the lantern, right? Thank you, Peggy, for sprinkling. I appreciate it. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to use these as my decoration. It looks okay against this, but it kind of gets lost. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making this part of the bow. Just another tip. Um, it's look at you're not using you're not you're not accenting the whole. You're just accenting this. Thank you, Suze. All right, let me see. I think I'm going to have this tucked in right there. Oh, it is plugged in, but it's stuck. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's plugged in, but why is it not working? Because it wasn't plugged in all the way. That's why it was stuck. Okay, let's just give that a minute. All right, who remembers how, how much, how, what was the, the length we cut these? For the smaller bow is how many inches? Because you're going to need to know this for your homework. <laughs> Come on, who remembers? 
The smaller one is, Vicky's got it, 24. Okay, and if you were to do the larger one for the larger wreath base, it would be, Jeannie's got it, 24 for the smaller bow, but what for the next size? 36, yay, all right, <laughs> you guys are awesome. I can't wait to see all those bows. All right, okay, we got glue, we got glue. So we're gonna tuck this in down here. And the thing is, when you're making a wreath, people buying them, they appreciate your creativity, but they really don't understand the cost of the items that you put in it. So a lot of times you can't get your cost back out of the wreath. So if you decorate it conservatively, all right, you're going to get that money back. This one, these picks, they were three something a piece with my discount, um, which was, yes, Peggy, five inch loops on the bigger one with 36 inches in length. Yes. Um, so yeah, I got my 40% off or 20, 40% off or what? No, they were already 40% off. So, so we're going to glue those in there, I think. Um, if I want, I have a couple little ghosts I can add, but I'm not sure. I may just leave it like this because to me, it's simple. And some people, that's all they want is simple. So you're going to use your bow to build up your wreath. There you go, Peggy's got it. So when she gets out of the hospital and goes home and is feeling better, she's gonna grab that ribbon. Next Monday is the cutoff. So see, and it looks better against this coloring anyhow. So I'm liking it. So there you go, Peggy and Vicki, everybody's been writing the amounts down here so you know how much, and I really want to see your bows. Who was it? Helen that had the really tough time? Helen, I want to see that bow. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> if I can do it, you can do it, dear. And, and just think, Helen's not going to stress over it anymore. I think I'm going to try and pull this these yellow this yellow down here to kind of flank this pick so it really pops. I I am so excited. You guys are going to be awesome. And when I post this to this video to YouTube, I will find the bestie bow maker. And I will post her website because she's got some awesome ideas, guys. Awesome. Oh, you you don't you never know, Peggy. You never know. I'm, I'm not, I'm just going to put everybody's, everybody that sends me the picture, I'll put a post on the Facebook page and everybody that sends me the picture, I'm just going to put everybody's name in a hat and we'll draw one. How's that? Now, let me look at this and see if I want to do anything else. I have these left over from another but I'm not, I don't want the purple in there. And I don't want the green in there either. So. Hmm. We have a few of these. 
Is it? No. It doesn't look great in there. Okay. I'll take one of these. I'm going to take one of these. Hey, Jeanette. You missed it. I gave out homework. <laughs> and everybody's excited because I showed them such an easy way to make the bestie bow. I could do it again. Let's see, what do I have coming up that I need a bow for? pick out we could just do a nice autumn bow right let's do that I needed to take this closer towards the sign so I think after I put this one in that's all I'm doing to this just simple so I've actually got one pick in here a bow a sign the wreath base and one and a quarter pick <laughs> there done Hey, Linda. <laughs> this is fun homework. Fun, fun, fun. All right, you want me to do another one? How about we do a 36 inch one? That way you guys can watch me do it again. Those that are just tuning in can see it. Should I do that? And the deal is, I'm challenging everybody to take this method, whether you do 24 inches or 36 inches, three ribbons, and I'm challenging you to um, make a bow. I'm gonna put a, a post on my Facebook page, Robin's Re3, and you're gonna share the pictures of your bows. Everybody's name is gonna go into a hat, and I'm gonna give away a sign. How about that? All right, let's do one. Let's see. Let's do a really pretty fall one. I like that color. Now I'm picking out three, two and a half inch colors. All right, let's see. What other color could we put in there? We've got green, we've got some orange, we've got, um, let's go with the tan. Let's just make it simple. Let me see. Um, blah, 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 blah. Where'd my tan go? I know it's in here. Ah. All right, we'll go over another color because I'm not finding it. I didn't leave you. No, I'm just looking. Green, tan. Let's put some, let's just do green and tan and or green and orange in here with this what do you think just a real pretty stinking pretty yay and this method was posted online there's a lady on youtube and she <laughs> she's foreign um she, her english is kind of broken but when I saw her doing this, I'm like, this is it. Because that's all we talked about the other night was how stinking hard it was for everybody to make a bow. And this is awesome. <laughs> okay. All right, Peg, Peggy, feel better. Oh, all right. So we're going to cut three of this one. And just think of the ribbon you're going to save. Honestly, this is super Peggy's in the hospital. She had a knee replacement and the drugs just kicked in. So, so yeah. So we got two. So basically, you're only using three yards of one color. So for one bow, you're using nine yards. And, and I know you would not have trouble selling these bows online on Facebook tell everybody to bring you their ugly wreaths and make them pretty all right so 
So we cut three of this color. Now we're going to do three of this color. We're cutting it at 36 inches. There's two bows she made. She made one with 24 inches, which is this bow. And I used the one and a half inch there. And then she made another one that was, one was 24 and one was 36. Now, what I was showing everybody was look at this. And she showed you this on there, which was just blew my mind. She just took two picks, put this bow in the middle, and attached it to a lantern. That's all she did. We can do this. I couldn't wait. I, I almost went on early. I'm like, I can't wait to show everybody this method because it's so stinking easy. And I know for some people it's a struggle. And in the beginning, it was a big struggle for me. And I know there are some in the group that will not do their bows on a live. They'll do them off live because they just are so worried about it not looking right when they're doing it on a live. This method, you can do it on a live. I did it. I did, I did one already off. just to work the kinks out because I knew I was gonna get a little flustered. So I needed to work out doing one. So I knew I had it right. All right, this last one. So for the 36 inch, she used a five inch loop. All right. All right. Now she held all this in her hand and I told everybody, don't go there. See, Jeanette, you can do this. Next time I watch your live, I wanna see you doing it, <laughs> okay? All right, we're gonna start off with the green. Three yards, or one yard, yeah. So nine, nine feet, yeah, what am I doing? All right, so three yards, of green, three yards of orange, three of printed, whatever. Okay. All right. So she folded it in half and then she came down here for this one. She pinched at four inches for this one. We're going to pinch at five inches. All right. She held it in her hand, grab the next color. I can't do that. So I took my bow dabra, or you can use your easy bow. Just do this. All right. Um, I'm going to do this color next. Pinch at five inches. Put it in here. You're just laying it on top of each other. You're just following your color pattern. So there you go, you got your first row, all right? Now we go back to the green. And I wanna see those bows, ladies. You can so do this. It's kind of how I made my tree topper bows last year, except I used my Easy Bow Maker, or my, no, the big one, not the Easy Bow, the other one. Anyhow, I, I put them all on there together. Like I wound three colors together and then just pulled them out. And I'll, I'll, I'll do one before. All right, so let me go to the orange. You can so do this on a live. And I would, I would push this lady because she did an awesome job of sharing this. She shares a lot. Oh, right? Green? Yes. All right. Green, this, that. All right. Green. Getting out of sync here. Probo. There you go. That's how I used to make all my bows in the beginning on my lives. 
Now I usually do hand or with the easy bow. But this is so much easier. Everything is still at five inches. Oh, five inches. There's another one. And now we have our last one. Five inches. For the 36, use a five. Okay. So there you go. Now, you're just going to take your pipe cleaner. These are so easy, Linda. They're like an extra pair of hands. And if you have your um, easy bow, you've got that little groove. Okay. You can still put them in here and pile them one on top of each other. So there's that option too. It doesn't have to be a Bodabra. And Bodabras, you can get those at Michael's and use your coupon. I think I ended up getting mine for like $9 or something. Now, I'm going to try and use this just as my anchor for this. Nope, it's too short. All right. All right, so all you're doing now is you're just spreading. You're pulling and spreading. Try to get your colors in different directions. You know, so you don't have them all bunched in the same place. easier if I hold it with the one hand and then just pull them open and spread them around. And then she took her tails see great minds do think alike. And then she went back at the end and she kind of separated her <coughs> her ends, her tails here. Fluffed them out and dovetailed. How stinking easy is that? I think I might have did this one at four inches. It seems a little short. There we go. Now I just grabbed some colors off the shelf, but at least you could see the technique again. And for those that came in not from the beginning, it was just easier. You could easily sell this bow for $15 or $20. Easy. Heck, even maybe $22. and easy. You can, Jean. And you're going to enter the contest. I gave everybody homework. I want to see pictures of your bow. I'm going to post the contest on my Facebook page. You send your bows in. And then we're going to draw a name. And you're going to win a sign. Because I, I know you guys can do this. And like I said, somebody on my Monday Night Live, when we were doing the chicken dude, um, somebody said, I, I struggle with bows. There you go, Jeanette. That would be awesome. Who wouldn't be looking for a bow, right? Oh, you are so welcome. And keep watching because there's going to be a lot more stuff coming. I have so many ideas in the works. 
I'm waiting on a machine to come in and it is going to be fun. Dawn, is this not the easiest bow you ever saw? I mean, this lady is a genius. Did I get all the tails? I did. It's like a kind of, I'm looking for a, wait a minute, I got one. It's small though, but I got one. I want something to tie it to so I can work with it. So I wouldn't use this size on this small wreath base, but for purposes, yay! I, I can't believe it. I, I am so excited for you guys. Oh, you're right. I never thought of that. Vicky's or Dawn's talking. Who was it? No, Vicky was talking about four inch ribbon. Ooh. Maybe with the four inch ribbon, I would go up to like, it's like she went from 24 to 36. So then I'd go to 42, cut it 42 inches. Yes, right? Jean, this is awesome. When I post to my Facebook page, or to YouTube, the video, this video, I will find her and put her name in the description because I want to give her credit for this. This was not my idea. But when I saw it, I knew I had to bring it to you because I know how hard it is for those especially just starting out. I've been there. I know what it's like sitting there fussing with the bow and, and almost in tears because you're trying to get it to go where you want it to go and it's not going. And some ribbon just refuses <laughs> to budge. So you have to lift it up some. And that means kind of pulling it forward like that. But look, wouldn't you love to get a bow like that? I think I need to pull these up more. Curl them more. There we go. Let's bring some of that around there. There we go. I play with my bows forever. But look how easy that is. And then, like I said, she took the two picks and she had a, had a bow for her lantern. Oh my gosh, you guys are getting carried away. <laughs> right? You guys can do this. And I think it's the uniformity of the layers and the the and the loops being the same size i think that's what does it because i do that graduated bow where each time i kind of back it down and i i don't like them when i do that like this one this one kind of defluffed itself i kind of graduated down like a half inch or so each each layer and that just to me doesn't do it justice like this one this one it's like everything is standing at attention and it just works super simple i used the one and a half in this we cut it at 24 inches and then we did a four inch loop <laughs> you want to know where I get most of my, my uh, grapevine wreaths? We have a local American uh, rescue workers. This one was a dollar. It was an ugly, ugly shade. I went and spray painted it. This one was probably 
75 cents. I don't like the um, grapevines they have out now. They just seem really thin and not full enough. Some of the older ones are just solid. Right? See, there you go. Peggy said if you're using um, Sam's Club ribbon, you're, you're going to clean up. You're so right. It's like a, um, a thrift store. They actually take in used items for people from people and then they sell the used items and they throw the money into charities. So that's where I get a lot of my stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm always on the hunt for, for items that are unique. Um, that's just the way I roll. I like looking for stuff that's different and unusual and but couldn't you see these bows? I mean, people will eat these up and Peggy's right. You use the dollar, you use the Sam's Club ribbon. Oh my gosh. And I will, I, we started a local group on Facebook in our area. Um, I had my realtor start it for us because <laughs> I had enough that I was working on. We started a group called um, Buy Local and, and Buy Local and Small or something like that. So, yes, yes, that's me all the way. Oh, I found the neatest. I can't wait. I'll, you'll be seeing it. I found the neatest cookie tray today, and I'm going to decorate that, and that's going to be a wreath, a wall hanging, a Christmas decor, whatever. So yeah, and it's brand new. So, but yeah, um, I forget what I was saying. <laughs> ah, um, trying to think, what else do I have in the works? My tear trays, they were actually made with new pans and wooden candlesticks. Um, I made a bunch of those. But yeah, anyhow, this Facebook page, um, she set it up for us. And it's all the local businesses within the, the county. And we all promote our goods on there. And I've been selling a lot on there. Um, so you can bet I'm going to be putting this bow on. And telling them, you know, look, I can revamp your your wreath. You are so welcome. I just, I I just knew this was the answer for a lot of people, a lot of people. You could just put this on a wreath base, and just put some leaves like I did with this. Um, let me see, do I have any? I thought I did. Yeah, I do. I mean, super, super simple. Look at that. And I mean, <laughs> they, it's, they sell this stuff in the stores and there's like nothing to them. I mean, just that and some leaves and then put some acorns in there. Where am I? I'm in Northern Central Pennsylvania. It's, the town is called Hughesville. Um, it is about, 20 minutes from the home of the Little League World Series, which was canceled this year. Just you will, Jeanette. <laughs> but yeah. And like it, with this bow, it was so easy just to do two picks together and make your lantern swag. So stinking easy. I think what else do I have that oh these oh, I can't wait to do this you know you all saw the video on my tear trays right okay these are really popular this year the felt balls and what they do is they just sew them together and they actually make a, like a, just a felt chain of these now these I got on Etsy I found some somewhere else and see 
you just stick a needle down the middle. They are the hottest things, and then you put a tassel on the end. So I'm going to be making some of those to go with the tear trays. And my new machine is going to be making little wooden um, items. So we are going to have fun this year. I've got two new grandsons. But that's what they do. They put this together and then they put tassels on the end and they just hang it over. Yes. Heck, you could even do this with, okay, there's nine in here. I was trying to figure out another way to do it. Two, four, six, that doesn't work. You could use several colors. Heck, even if you use like six colors and did two of each one, would that work out? No. <laughs> my, my brain is fried. I, I, we are now getting up to the alarm because my husband is back to work driving school bus. So he's retired from the post office and school started this week. So my butt is dragging now. I was always up before him anyhow, but he used to sleep better. He's not sleeping good, <laughs> which when he doesn't sleep good, then I don't sleep good. So, it's almost like that, but I just, I just love the uniformity. The uniformity, because every loop is the same height, you get that height and, and it just looks full. It just looks professional. I get the feeling though, she was using um, Dollar Tree ribbon. And the Dollar Tree ribbon is a lot finer. It's not as well, um, it's not as solid as this, this ribbon is. So I think what I would do the next time, because there's so many tails, I think I would put a notch in the ribbons just so it's easier to pull them, pull the, the, um, this tighter so you get a better lift. It's still a little bunchy to me. So when you use the better ribbon, maybe putting a little notch in there might be a good idea. I'm gonna put on my glasses to see what you're saying. <laughs> okay, Peggy, Peggy's doing the math and Peggy's on, on drugs right now in the hospital. <laughs> So, so Peggy's saying if you change it to 10 pieces, you could get a lot of color combinations. And that's, that's right. But I think, again, if you're using better quality ribbon and you're not using Dollar Tree ribbon, which is what she was using, I think it would, it would be easier to pull this up and just get a little more hype and have a better, better movability in the tails. So I think maybe one little notch. Is that what she is? Okay, thank you, Jody. Jody's saying the lady, lady's name is Kathy from My DIY. She is awesome. This was awesome. I, I, she's amazing. But yeah, check her out because she's got some really unique ideas with Dollar Tree stuff and just DIY in general. But this was, this was genius. Absolute genius. And she didn't really do them online in the beginning. She said she just did them and then made them as part of it. And then people kept asking her about it, so... Yeah, check her out. Heck, subscribe to her channel. She's got some awesome stuff out there. Yeah. 
All right, guys, I hope I gave you some ideas. Remember, homework. I want to see those, um, I want to see those, those bows. And then we'll draw for a, a sign. And if you think of something you want to see next time around, let me know. Oh, thank you, Esther. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sorry for your loss. All right, you, you go ahead. Thank you. Oh, just doesn't get any better, does it? All right, guys. Ladies, not guys. Yeah, poor Esther. All right. Watch for me. I think I'm going back to Mondays. We're not doing the Tag Team Tuesday anymore. Except, I'm, gl I'm glad you tuned in today too, Jean. Because you may not have seen Kathy and you may not have seen this method. Thank you. Um, yeah, so Monday, except there's so many people going live on Monday, I think I'm going to have to switch my time to maybe 5.30 on Mondays or 6 o'clock. So, because I don't want to intrude on everybody else's um, time. It seemed like there were a bunch of us on at 7. So, I was not aware. All right, ladies, have a great evening. Thank you. Thank you for joining me. Get to work. I want to see those bows so I can give away a sign. <laughs> All right. Thank you.